The way we build software is changing, all thanks to AI. Welcome back, developers. Ready to see the cutting edge? We're setting the stage for an essential comparison. Open AI Codex, which translates your natural language ideas directly into code, versus Google Jules, the revolutionary autonomous agent that tackles complex tasks and even fixes bugs in the background. Which one will transform your development process? Let's dive in. OpenAI announces the release of Codex. They state clearly that it's a cloud-based software engineering agent. They also mention it's powered by Quote One, which is a version of their AI specifically optimized for software engineering tasks. This opening section also gives you the key information about who can access it right now, stating it's available to chat GPT Pro, team, and enterprise users, with Plus users getting access soon. This part explains the user experience. It mentions you can access Codex through the ChatGPT sidebar and assign it coding tasks. It describes a core technical aspect. Codex processes these tasks independently in isolated environments, essentially a safe sandbox that's preloaded with your specific code base. The page details its capabilities here, emphasizing that it can read and edit files, run commands like tests and linters, and crucially, provide verifiable evidence of its actions, like terminal logs. It also touches on how special files called link to agents.md can help guide Codex within a repository and mentions Codex 1's performance on coding evaluations. Let's look at the data. On the SWE Bench Verified Benchmark, CODEX1 consistently outperforms or matches O3 high, with increasing accuracy over multiple attempts, reaching nearly 0.82 accuracy by the eighth attempt. On OpenAI internal SWE tasks, CODEX1 leads with 75% accuracy, compared to 70% for O3 high, 67% for O4 mini high, and only 11% for O1 high. This performance underscores Codex's strength as a capable coding assistant, especially when integrated thoughtfully into your development workflow. Codex is being released as a research preview, reflecting our commitment to an iterative and transparent deployment strategy. Security is a top priority. That's why Codex is designed to let users verify outputs, especially as models handle more complex and sensitive coding tasks. Users can inspect citations, logs, and test results. If something goes wrong or a result is unclear, the Codex agent explicitly flags the issue, helping users make informed decisions. But human oversight remains critical. Users should always review and validate agent-generated code before deploying it. This is how we build not just powerful AI, but responsible AI. A key focus in building Codex 1 was making sure it aligns well with human preferences, especially in the way it writes and suggests code. That means going beyond just functional code and aiming for output that's clean, readable, and easy for developers to understand and use. To achieve this, CODEX1 was trained using human feedback, which helped guide it toward more useful, high-quality completions. This feedback loop enables the model to better understand what good code looks like, not just in terms of correctness, but also in terms of style, clarity, and how well it integrates into existing code bases. The result? Codex 1 consistently generates patches that are production ready and require less cleanup or rewriting by human developers. Compared to previous models like O3, CODEX 1 delivers suggestions that are more in line with what real world engineers expect and prefer. Ultimately, this alignment with human preferences is what makes Codex 1 a powerful tool for collaborative development, where AI assists, but humans remain in control. Let's see how OpenAI and early testers are actually using Codex, according to this text. OpenAI's own teams use Codex daily to offload repetitive tasks like refactoring and testing, plus scaffolding features and fixing bugs. It helps them reduce context switching and ship faster. They also worked with external testers. Cisco is exploring it to build ideas faster and help shape its future. Temporal uses it to accelerate dev, debug, test, and refactor, running tasks in the background to stay focused. Superhuman speeds up small tasks like tests, and enables product managers to contribute code faster. Kodiak uses it for debugging tools, test coverage, and refactoring, also finding it a valuable reference. Codex is now available for ChatGPT Pro, Enterprise, and Team users, with Plus and Edu access coming soon. Users get free access for the next few weeks to explore its capabilities, followed by flexible pricing options. The Codex Mini Latest model is available via the Responses API, priced at $1.50 per million input tokens and $6 per million output tokens, with a 75% prompt caching discount. Looking to get more out of ChatGPT? Here's a quick breakdown of the available plans. Free plan. At $0 a month, it gives you access to GPT-40 Mini, basic voice mode, web search, and limited tools for file uploads and image generation. Plus plan. For $20 a month, you get everything in the free plan, plus access to more powerful models like GPT-4.5, advanced voice, image generation, and extended usage limits. 
Pro Plan. At $200 a month, this is the ultimate upgrade. You get unlimited access to all reasoning models, advanced voice, deep research tools, Sora video generation, and access to the Codex Agent Research Preview. After exploring OpenAI's Codex and how it helps generate code, now it's time to look at what Google is building, Meet Jules. Jules doesn't just talk about coding, it shows you the code in action. Right from the start, you'll see how it thinks step-by-step, -step, plans the changes, and writes real, functional code. It's like watching a developer work, only this one runs in the cloud and never takes a break. Dot your autonomous coding assistant from Google. Start by connecting your GitHub. Jules imports your repositories, tracks branch changes, and helps you create pull requests instantly. It spins up a secure cloud virtual machine, clones your code, and verifies that every change works before anything goes live. Need testing? Jules runs your existing tests, or even writes new ones, so nothing breaks while you build. Transparency matters. Jules shows its full plan, shares its reasoning, and lets you review every code diff before committing. Here's how it works. First, you select your GitHub repo and write a clear prompt, just like telling a teammate what needs to be done. Jules then clones your code to a secure cloud environment and builds a detailed plan using Google's latest Gemini 2.5 Pro model. It doesn't just guess, it shows you exactly what files it'll update. You can review every proposed change through a diff view, and with one click, approve it to move forward. Once you approve the changes, Jules takes it from there. It opens a pull request, merges it into your branch, and publishes it on GitHub. And to make catching up easier than ever, Jules even creates an audio summary of what it changed, so you're always in the loop, even if you're on the go. Now let's take a look at Google's AI coding assistant, Jules in action. The following demonstration comes to us from the Prompt Engineering channel. We wanted to showcase its capabilities firsthand. Here, you can see Jules connected to a GitHub repository. The user tasked it with upgrading to the latest Gemini SDK. Watch as Jules proposes a detailed plan, identifying the specific files it intends to modify and even suggesting the addition of relevant test cases. Notice how it seems to understand the project context and the requirements of the new SDK. The demonstration continues as Jules implements these changes, updating dependencies and modifying code. What's particularly impressive is the apparent accuracy of these modifications, suggesting a deep understanding or even access to up-to-date information. You can see how Jules then prepares a pull request, ready for review, with a clear summary of the changes. As you saw in that demonstration, courtesy of the Prompt Engineering Channel, Google Jules presents a very different approach compared to OpenAI Codex. So we've seen OpenAI Codex as your versatile AI code generation copilot, and Google Jules as the autonomous agent handling complex, background coding tasks. Both are undeniably transforming how we build. Which of these AI developer tools excites you most? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more insights into AI and development.